What's going on? Welcome to K Sports Talk. If you give me the HKO special help to King out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so we got the NBA finals. So two teams, one from the west, one from the east. So we now finally have a battle here. So who are they? They're the Dallas Mavericks versus the Boston Celtics. So we're going to take a look at uh, the preview here. So let me uh, get this uh, screenshot up, and we're going to take a look. Yeah, so the NBA Finals, and let me uh, uh, enlarge that. So there we go. Okay, so NBA Finals, what to expect in the Celtics-Mavericks series. So the, there you go, Jason Tatum and Luka Dantich there. So... There we go. One swept like the other swept like gentlemen. So if it was as Boston Celtics, Dallas Mavs were eager to get on with this and wanted to prep as much as possible. So, yep, game one is on uh, June 6th. So Boston was the best team by record all season. So pretty much ran away with the East, claiming home court as long as they needed it, including this round. So and Dallas, you know, 50 and 32, which was Worth noting, which have tied for second with the East with New York, still 14 games off the Celtics' pace, though good for only fifth seed in the West. So, yeah. So, you know, the Mavericks had to uh, downbeat the Clippers, the Thunder, the Timberwolves, and here they are. They're playing the Boston Celtics. So the Celtics took both games against Dallas in the season, so they won 119-110 on Mavericks court on the 22nd of January, and then they beat the Mavs again 138-110 March 1st. So, And this is a Boston's 23rd trip to the finals, so Dallas has made it twice before, but this one coming 13 years after his 2011 upset of the first edition of the Super Miami team, you know, the Super team with LeBron, you know, you know, Chris Bosch, et cetera, and Dwayne Wade. So so there's your schedule. It starts on June 6th on ABC. So there it is. And, yep, let's look at the storyline. So the battle of the backcourt. So you have Luka Dantich, Kyrie Irving. That's going to have to carry this through. And, ma and how do they match up? Because, you know, they got that Drew Holiday and Derek White earned spots on – the defensive team there so they're gonna have to be very defensive here and then that's their disruptors taking capable ball pressure that can throw off even dantish late clock decisions or you know irving's highlight finishes but going the other way irving has locked more looked more diligent this spring with dantish mostly uses defensive possessions to recharge so yep the dandest the Dallas tandem scored 112 points in the two regular season, 51% of the team's output. Holiday and White outscored them by 47 by comparison. So, yep, so all the other Celtics outscored them 210 to 108. Now, here's another factor, uh, the Porzingis factor, because, you know, he hasn't played since uh, Miami, so he went down with a calf strain, so hopefully he'll be back. And then there's, you know, Daniel Gafford and, Derek Lively with the vertical rim runners who play on pogo sis. So they can always be available to flush a Dante's job. So, and of course, Derek Jones Jr. and PJ Washington up their production of postseason. So that's a lot to handle up front. And Boston's L. Horford, even if he's an old guy, he's still effective the past two runs, 38 years old, in need of help. But Porzingis, 7'2 and 240, averages 20 points, two blocks, which could help the sector. Celtics. So he has a big body in the paint and a level three shooter who deepens coach Joe Mozilla's rotation after five weeks of postseason grind. And one more thing to watch for Celtics counting the threes. They lead the league in three pointers, you know, hitting them in second best percentage. So they're going to have to keep you know, hitting those threes. And then, you know, the Mavericks been solid, but not solid, but they averaged 12.4 threes out of 33 attempts and are six and one making 14 or more, but have launches more, much as 40 once in 16 games. Now for the Mavericks, you know, Irving back in Boston, Porzingis is the only 
isn't the only one headed into the matchup, but, you know, Irving's two season in Boston's were more emotional than Porzingis State in Dallas. So it's going to be marked by individual success. And he's been booed and heckled since leaving for Brooklyn in 19 after he stomped on the Celtics midcourt logo in 21 for a playoff visit. So that's what we're looking at. And yes, and key numbers uh, to know 4.6 Mavericks have 4.6 corner three pointer games. And then of course, individuals, is P.J. Washington and Derek Jones. So we're going to have to see how this is going to go. And, you know, uh, the Celtics defense not yield many corner three, so they usually make 1.5. So we're going to have to see how this is going to go. And, of course, the pick is Celtics in six. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a bias because I don't want the Celtics to win since I'm a Laker fan. But the Mavericks are six games under 500 and only 25 and 21 in late January. So that's what, you know, we're looking at. And then, you know, star wins. Tatum and Brown have achieved almost everything, but they're short of a ring. And Joe Mozilla's job status was shaky in 23. And Horford couldn't wait to get that off most playoff games title list. So there we go. So, yep. And, of course, my pick is... Maybe the Mavericks in six, but or seven, but uh, but from the objective point, Boston looks much better. So objectively, I think Boston will win in six, but but the uh, bias in me will say Mavericks in seven. But we'll have to see how this uh, playoff is going to go. So it's going to be uh, if fun and. See what Luka Dantic, and of course, I've got to see Luka Dantic play uh, three times. So, in the you know the World Cup, the Philippines World Cup. So that's where it stands. All right, so we'll see on um, game one who wins it. All right, so if you enjoy any of this content, please give me the HKO special help to King out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you in my.